Today's film tells the story of an African-American teenager with a traumatic childhood. Michael constantly moved from place to place because his mother was a drug addict. On the other hand, his father ran away after he was born. Michael lived with his friend named Stephen. Stephen's father, Tony, intends to transfer Stephen and Michael to a Christian school. But specific requirements must be met to get into the school, and Tony praises their athletic skills and abilities. Coach Cotton notices Michael and is enchanted. Cotton tries to help Tony and convince the principal and teachers to accept Stephen and Michael. Stephen gets through easily given his good grades. On the other hand, Michael's grades are highly insufficient and the teachers disapprove of him. However, Cotton manages to persuade the teachers smartly. He tells them that they work in a Christian school and they must give Michael a chance. Eventually, Michael and Stephen are accepted into the new school. The first days of school are complicated for everyone, but for Michael, they are a real nightmare. He has difficulty adapting and doesn't complete tasks assigned by teachers. In fact, almost all teachers think there is no hope for Michael. Yet, one of the teachers, Mrs. Boswell, seems to be the only one who sees that deep down, Michael is not as stupid as everyone thinks. Mrs. Boswell praises his comprehension skills, thanks to which he got a decent grade on an assignment. One night, while sleeping on the couch at his friend Stevens, Michael overheard an argument between Tony and his wife. His wife wants Michael to leave, and Tony promises her that he will come up with something. Hearing this, Michael gets even more distressed and leaves Tony's house. To eat, Michael waits until the end of the game to collect leftover popcorn. During one of these games, we meet the second main character, Leigh Ann Tui. She is a successful designer, married to Sean Tui, an entrepreneur who runs numerous Taco Bells. The married couple has two children, young SJ and Collins. At the end of the game, Sean notices Michael picking up popcorn and gives it a moment's thought. At night, Michael washes his own clothes in the sink of a laundry room. That night it began to rain, and Michael walked the streets since he had no place to sleep. Just then, Lee Ann and her family were driving home. They saw him walking alone in the rain, and Lee Ann noticed Michael shivering from the cold. She tells her husband to stop the car and gets out to talk to Michael. Lee Ann asks him where he is headed, and Michael tells her in a low voice that he wants to sleep in the school gym. She offers him to spend the night in her beautiful house. Lee Ann and Sean have built a charming property. Upon arriving home, Michael meets Collins, who attends the same school as him. Lei Ann sets up a comfortable couch in the living room for Michael to sleep on. Before going to bed, Lei Ann talks with her husband about the decision she made. In fact, they have no reason to trust Michael since they have known him for a few minutes. Nonetheless, the next day, Lei Ann does not find Michael in the living room and she notices the sheets put up properly. When she comes outside, he sees Michael walking toward the gate. She chases after him and asks him to stay to celebrate Thanksgiving with her family. Soon after, we see Lee Ann preparing the table with food while the others watch TV. On the other hand, Michael goes to eat at the table. Lee Ann looks at him smiling and gathers everyone at the table, and they happily celebrate Thanksgiving. Lee Ann notices Michael's overused clothes and takes him to buy new ones. In the car, Michael said he had clothes at his mother's house. Lei Ann then drives Michael to his mother's house. They are in an unsafe neighborhood. Before getting out of the car, Michael warned her to stay in the car. Later, Michael saw a notice on the house door, indicating that his mother no longer lived there. Unable to pick up his clothes at home, Lee Ann took Michael to a store to buy him new clothes. Moving on, Michael continues to live at Lei Ann's house and gets his own room, a room with a sofa bed and a computer, things that, until now, he could only dream of. After meeting Lee Ann and her family, Michael's school grades started to improve. The new family environment influenced him very good. In addition, the teachers understood how they should guide him to help him learn things. Indeed, Lee Ann takes an interest in Michael's abilities and finds that his defensive instincts are highly developed. One evening, Sean takes everyone to dinner at a fancy restaurant. When they have to return home, Michael meets his brother, who works as a waiter. It is the first time he has seen him in many years. Moving on, Michael is now part of the family. During the photo session for the Christmas card, Lee Ann invites Michael to join them. Since then, Lee Ann and Sean's friends and relatives have known of Michael's presence. Talking about friends, while Lee Ann was having lunch, they expressed their concern about Michael's presence. Hearing her friend's racist words, Lee Ann left them with a disappointed look. Afterward, Lee Ann talked to Collins about Michael's presence in their home. The girl said she did not mind at all that Michael was living with them. At school, Michael was often discriminated against because of his skin color and physical structure. But Colin supported him and tried to stand by him while the others pushed him away. Moving forward, Michael began practicing with the school's football team. Since this was the first time he had touched a ball, he did not even know the game's rules. Thus, he always made stupid mistakes. However, Sean and Lee Ann are convinced that Michael will have a prosperous future in football if he is coached properly. Little SJ also makes an effort to help Michael in training. 
One evening, Leanne asks her husband if he agrees to adopt Michael legally. Although initially hesitant, Sean agrees and Lee Ann is over the moon. Lei Ann immediately sets to work to become Michael's legal guardian. During the process, she discovers that his father died in an accident and that his mother is a drug addict. Since the state considers Michael an orphan, Lee Ann could adopt him right away. But since Michael's biological mother is still alive, Lee Ann wants to ask her permission before taking this big step. After some research, Lee Ann finds out where Michael's biological mother is living and goes to visit her. Michael's mother, Denise, regrets making the mistakes that led her to live such a life, but she allows Lee Ann to adopt Michael. After all, she knows that he will be better off with his new family. However, Lee Ann allows Denise to visit her son at any time. Afterward, Lee Ann gathers the whole family to officially announce that she and Sean have adopted Michael. Lee Ann helps Michael get his driver's license, and Sean gives him a nice car. So SJ and Michael go for a ride together for the first time. In his spare time, SJ helps Michael understand the rules of American football. SJ asks his mother to go buy a new game, but she has a business meeting, so SJ points out that Michael can drive. On their way to the store that day, the two sang happily in the car. Michael gets distracted, and they have a terrible accident. Fortunately, no one was seriously injured. However, Michael is upset and disappointed in himself. Lei Ann tries to calm Michael down. After all, it happens with everyone. Moreover, SG is not hurt that badly. Indeed, the doctors cannot believe how SG survived such an impact. Then Lee Ann finds out that Michael protected SJ with his hand, preventing him from severe fractures. During football practice, Coach Cotton keeps scolding Michael because he is getting the rules wrong all the time. Michael seems to hesitate to use his full strength against opponents. At that point, Lee Ann takes matters into her own hands. She goes on the field and tells him that his role is to protect his team just as he would his family. She tells him to look at the quarterback and picture her. So, Michael follows Lei Ann's words and reveals his strength and the great potential he was keeping hidden. Coach Cotton was impressed and recovered hope. From that day, Michael improved exponentially and was placed on the college football team. In an important game, Michael's team plays against another high school. In the first few minutes, Michael receives racial slurs from a player on the opposing team, which does not allow him to focus on the game. The opposing team easily dominates and they begin to taunt Michael more and more. One of them kicked Michael in the head and Coach Cotton got angry and desperately defended him. Seeing how much the coach cared, Michael felt very touched and determined to win the game. After that scene, Michael turned into a train and effortlessly threw the opponent who was insulting him off the field. In the end, they reversed the situation and Michael's team managed to recover and win. On the other hand, SJ, following the game, kept recording Michael and his performance. The next day, SJ sends a videotape showing Michael's remarkable skill to the entire college football team. Suddenly, many coaches from other football teams are impressed by Michael's skills. One day, while Michael was practicing with the team, many coaches came to see what he was capable of. Coach Cotton called Michael and asked him to face off against another giant offensive tackle. Michael pushed him with ease and all the coaches were amazed. After this, Michael began to receive many scholarships offers from various universities. One of the conditions for getting the scholarship is to have an excellent above average academic score. However, Michael must have a GPA of at least 2.5 in order to enroll in college. At this point, Lee Ann hires a private tutor to help Michael improve his academic grades. Mrs. Sue put a lot of effort and spent hours upon hours better explaining school subjects to Michael. In the meantime, many coaches from various universities visit Michael to convince him to join their team. They each promise him various benefits and assure SJ, who serves as his manager, that he will be allowed to stay with Michael anytime he wants. Thanks to the immense efforts of Lee Ann, his family, and Miss Sue, Michael was finally able to improve his academic grades. In fact, he graduated with satisfactory grades that would allow him to move on to college. Afterward, Michael was finally able to choose the university he wanted, a decision that created much hype. Michael finally decided to study at the University of Mississippi and join their football team. While Sean and Lee Ann were preparing Michael for college, they received a call from the NCAA. Lee Ann and Michael go for an interview where an NCAA investigator is assigned to investigate the possibility that Lee Ann and her family influenced Michael's decision. The investigator suspects that Lee Ann just wants to take advantage of his athletic abilities. Hearing this, Michael ran away before the interview ended. Lee Ann sees him leave and realizes that something is wrong. Michael asked her directly if she had adopted him so he could play football. Michael feels like he is being used and returns to his old neighborhood. Lei Ann talks to Sean, and they realize that they had not asked Michael what college he wanted to choose. Michael tries to find his biological mother but is taken in by his old friend, a gang leader. He invites Michael to reunite with his old friends and offers him a beer. One of them makes a sexually offensive satire about Lee Ann and Collins. Michael gets furious and beats them one by one, like ants. 
At that moment, he has flashbacks of his difficult childhood when he is taken away from his mother. The next day, Lee Ann goes to the neighborhood where Michael lived. The gang leader tells her that he ran away after beating him up. Later, Michael and Lee Ann meet outside a laundromat and have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Lei Ann reveals that she helped Michael wholeheartedly because she saw great potential in him. Later, Michael tells the NCAA investigator that he chose the University of Mississippi because it was his choice and his whole family went there. Michael then moves on to college and says goodbye to Lee Ann and her family. Lei Ann gets emotional and runs to the car to hide her tears. Michael follows her and asks her to hug him. I hope you enjoyed this story. If so, jump to the next video on your screen.